Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing an unboxing and eventually this will be a review at the end of this video on this portable air conditioning unit which I purchased from Amazon. It's the BLU09 air conditioning unit and I literally got this today and in the summer at the moment in the UK it's starting to get warm. I've got an outdoor office that gets incredibly hot. In fact, it gets to the point where it's almost unbearable to work in there. Well, it is unbearable to work in there. Last year was awful. So I couldn't go through that this year and I needed to get something that can cool the office down. And also in our bedroom at night, it's getting really, really hot and I'm struggling to sleep. So I wanted to invest in something like this and I've been looking at one, well, different units for a while. And this one was on Amazon. It was a reasonable price, around about 379 pounds. It wasn't the cheapest, but what I did with my research when I looked into some of the other models I found that some of them were really really noisy some of them weren't very energy efficient this is also an energy efficient model as well and so I was kind of looking at the long term I didn't want to spend too much but I didn't want to spend too little because I didn't want to be upset with what I bought so I wanted something with a reasonably small footprint I know they're really hard to get units that are really really small because they're quite large and this is a very large box so um, I've just got this through the door it weighs 32 kilograms um, it's a white unit, very, very large box. I'll just show you around the box itself. So it is a very hefty box. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this up, get it unboxed, show you what you get inside it, and then also I'll use this for a while and let you know what I think. So let's just get into the box straight away and see what you get in the unit. So hopefully you can see the size of this box. I've just taken the straps off it and it's sliding it off the top. This also comes with all the filters you need for your windows, however, as these are generally American machines, um, they're more suitable for American windows that tend to open inside rather than pushing out like we do in the UK. So at the back here is the funnel that you'll need to connect to the back to let the hot air out. So this has that unit with it, which will plug into the back. Okay, so I've taken this out of the box and as you can see, it is a large unit. That's the size of my hand and it's very, very heavy. Now I expect this to be actually slightly lighter because I thought I'd be able to easily carry this up and down stairs and maybe move it into different rooms, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. So keep that in mind that this is very, very heavy and it's something you can wheel around because it does have wheels on the bottom, but it isn't something you're gonna to wanna to carry, um, especially if you're going up and down stairs. Maybe if you're wheeling it from room to room, it'll be absolutely fine. Uh, but I'm gonna have this in my outside office. And it's not gonna be convenient for me to carry this on a daily basis back up to my bedroom. So I might have to think about that, um, but you know, that's okay. I bought this predominantly for the office anyway. So on the front, I've just got some tape on here covering all the main dials. I'll take this off in a moment. Just before I assemble this, I just wanna show you what you get inside this box as well. So I've just undone the sellotape on here, so hopefully it should open up. And what we have in here is basically all the bits you need for potentially connecting it to different windows. Now, like I said, these are designed for uh, American windows, so you might find that it won't fit um, your kind of UK standard windows. So I've just pulled that out, and inside is the instructions, um, this tube, which I believe expands, so it can, you can pull it apart and expands. And in here are some brackets to fix um, the different tubings and connections on. And there's also a remote control in here, so I'm just going to get this out. So this is everything that you get inside the package. So you get the remote control, which has got the mode, the on and off, the swing, so you can change whether it's going to be moving or not, or if it's on a timer, or if you just want the fan mode, or if you want it on sleep mode, so it's a bit more quiet. Uh, and obviously you can set a timer on this for how long you want it on or off. Uh, and I think it has, no, it doesn't have any batteries in there. I don't think they've given you the batteries, which is like triple A's to me, so little, oh no, they have given the batteries, here we go, sorry, they've fallen over here, so these are the batteries, go in that, and then it's got the energy efficient rating, which is kind of like bang in the middle, really, um, so this unit, I said, I did, I did my research, is um, kind of meets the 2020 standards for air conditioning units in regards to energy efficiency, uh, so it's got class A, um, Tells you a bit about that. And then this is the instruction guide. So inside, tells you about wiring the plug. And on the contents, you've got a bit of information about that. And then the main bit is 
all different languages and it tells you about the installation, further different sections, and then the connection joints, how they expand, and then a bit more information about if you're plugging it or connecting it to a wall. Correct and incorrect connection sockets. And yeah, that's pretty much it. These are all based on the window connections itself. So again, I'll get this set up and I'll get back to you. Welcome back everyone. I've now got this set up and I've been using it for just about a week. And I just thought I'd go through with you some of the basic features and functions and what I've found so far from using this. So first of all, this is next to my desk in my office. And that is the window over there, which is a standard sliding door uh, that I use to extract the hot air out with using this piece that comes with it. Sorry, excuse my knees, crack in there. Um, and this piece that comes with it is, is very, very tough, so it's not flexible, but it expands. So if I just show you how this works, it kind of expands like that and you can pull bits out. And this plugs directly into the back of the device. So at the moment, because the way this window is designed, I just have this going outside um, up with the door open and I have to leave the door slightly open for this to vent any air out because the kit that you get with the unit itself does not fit standard sliding windows. So if you have got a sliding window or you've got standard British windows, you'll find that the kit that comes with this is not gonna work for you. You need to buy a specific kit for that. But for the purpose of being in my office and the area that I've got, I found that using this to cool the office down initially works really, really well. And then what I do is I tend to close the door and then use the fan mode to just circulate the cool air. Um, and that's been working well for me, but you're gonna have to, to, to you know, depending on your situation, have to look into how that's gonna work for you. Uh, but that just works for me, and, and that's how I'm gonna carry on using this. So I don't have to faff about too much with different clips and sections to go onto the window, uh, which you can buy on Amazon. So starting off with, um, just to show you the front, I'll show you what the kind of noise levels are like, etc. But this clip section on the back is, if you see at the moment, this is the profile. So this is flush against the, the, the back of this cupboard. But what I have to do is when I want to use this, I have to wheel it out, which is nice and easy to wheel out, nice and free wheeling on the, even on the carpet. And on the back, you can see this section here where this piece will basically slot in. Now I've got the camera in one hand, so I can't do this with one single hand. I'll try my best to see if I can show you. But basically what we'll do is, actually no, I can't do it, but that will slide into there and that's where it would hold onto the back of the air conditioning unit and then that clearly goes out the back and it extends and then you can collapse this back into a nice convenient unit and I, when I finish using it I simply just wheel this back into the corner but when I'm using it I have it pulled out and also on the back of here you'll see this little tube that you get with it where you can connect up uh, that allows you to extract any water that this does start to pick up as you use it now I've only been using this a week so there's hardly any water in there but I imagine after as time goes on you're gonna have water collect, which you'll just have to open this up and empty the water out uh, into a container or simply tip it out outside. Um, you also get these additional clips that you have to add yourself just to allow you to curl the cable around if you wanna use those, but you don't have to. So that's all that's on the back. Um, going back to the portability of this unit, so it's easy to wheel around on carpet as this is a carpeted surface, but this thing is very, very heavy. It weighs almost 30 kilograms. So if you are thinking that you want to use this in multiple rooms, which is originally what I had thought of doing, um, you won't be able to do that because it's just too heavy. It's very, very heavy to carry. You'd probably be able to maybe carry it up and down some stairs maybe once, you know, every so often, but you wouldn't want to do it every day because it's far too heavy. So on the front, we've got some basic buttons and it's and what I like about this, it's very, very simple to use. You've got plus and minus to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature. And you've also got the fan options, swing options, on and off, timer, and then mode, depending on what you want cool, which is just simply gonna um, obviously go into cool mode and actually air condition the room. Dry mode, which I believe is for if you've got this near a, maybe a tumble dryer or some other area where it's kind of damp and wet and you want to extract the humidity from there. And then you've got it on standard fan mode, which is obviously going to be probably the most efficient mode just for standard fan and blowing out air. Now, bearing in mind, if you just do this as a fan, it doesn't move. So the air that's coming out of it 
is simply going to be pushing in one direction pretty much because the swing function only swings this up and down it doesn't go left and right and I'll show you that in a second so if I just switch this on with the control I'll just show you what you get with the hand unit so you've got a duplicate basically of what you've got on the on the um, little remote which is nice and easy to use so you've got on and off mode plus or minus fan swing sleeping timer so that is just a replication of exactly what's on the front so if I just switch this on I'm going to turn it on what you'll see is that these flaps will actually open up so when you press the on button um, currently it's in low power mode the flaps have opened up and within the flaps you can see that you've got this little piece here that you can turn to move the direction of the fan so that's on low so I'm talking now it's not too loud at all um, I said that's pretty reasonable it's louder than a normal house fan but that's what it'd be like um, you know, if you're using this on low. So you could have a conversation, you could be on the phone. Um, if I just switch it to mode to cool, so this is now in air conditioning mode, and I'm gonna turn this down to what I normally have on, about 21, and it's on auto. If I just put it to low, and this is what I've been using to cool the room down with, which has been more than sufficient. It's been um, cooled the room down in about 20 minutes from a very high temperature. So I'd give it about 20 minutes to cool down any room that you're going to be using. If I just switch it up to high so you can hear the difference, or well, medium first. Slightly louder. High. And so there isn't actually a lot of difference between the noise levels, which is really good. So I think this is reasonably quiet for a unit this large. Also you can adjust the temperature, you can use a timer if you want to. And then you can use a swing mode if you want to, and this will just make this go up and down and move. So it will just swing the air circulation uh, very slowly. You can see it's turning up, and very slowly it's going to go down. So I'll just switch that off. It takes a few seconds to power down, and then these flaps will then close. So you see them closing now. So overall, it's very, very easy to use. If you're after something that is easy to use, that's reasonably priced and it does the job very, very well. I think this cools down very, very well. I'm really, really impressed. And actually, it cooled, it's cooling this room down even though I've got a gap in my door and hot air still comes in. So that's to show you that in 20 minutes, it actually cooled the room down even though there was a gap. If, there was a, if I could seal that off somehow, which I probably will have to buy a, uh, a specific piece to seal my window, um, you'd find that I reckon this could probably cool the room down in about 10 minutes. So it is very, very good. Um, overall, I'm really, really happy with this unit. Um, as I said, I bought it off Amazon, so I'll leave a link below. It is made by a company called Blue, which I've never heard of before, but you've got your kind of guarantees and warranties with it. Um, all the fitting units that come with this for Windows, like I said, be aware that this is designed for an American audience. It works for American houses that have windows that open internally rather than the British windows that we have that open up externally. So for me, um, this doesn't work with the fitting kit that comes with it. So keep that in mind as well if you're thinking that it might fit your windows. You might be able to make something out of them and try and retrofit it and mm, do something yourself. But um, to be honest, for, for these larger windows, um, it won't work. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you on the next video.